Listen up, Bron. Listen up. All right, folks. So what do we have today? Is two gallons of water. The first gallon of water has eight gallons. The second one can hold a maximum of twelve gallons, but we don't know how much it contains just yet. They combine to give five gallons of water. Okay, so here's the question. The question is how much do we have to fill the second glass or jar of water so that they combine to give five gallons of water? Okay, now we can't like uh, mess the rules, but here's the rule. The fact of the matter is we need nine gallons of water in the second jar because take all nine gallons of those water and put it in the first jar, which can contain a max of eight gallons. So then what are you going to end up with? Eight and one, right? That's going to be your distribution. That's going to be your ratio of water from one jar to another. Now try it again, right? Now take those nine gallons of water and check out what you have. You can make five gallons, but how? Well, use the distributor. This problem was sponsored by Billion Auto. Ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding we believe, learn. Me. we believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science.